Um, and do, do, do you still go back to Scotland much? Uh, now and again. Not as much as I used to. Yeah. I think I've been this year, can't you remember? Well, I mean, this year is just like a blur though, isn't it? It's like, yeah. I have no idea. Like, <laughs> when people say, oh, what have you been up to? And I'm like, um, like the same, uh, every day is the same. It's like Groundhog Day. <laughs> yeah, I've been online a lot. <laughs> yeah. Been online, been on Zoom. <laughs> That's what I've been doing today. <laughs> yeah, it's so fun. Um, okay, so we are live on Facebook now. Oh, um, cool. So why don't you introduce yourself to the world? Hello, I am Ewan Henderson and I've been doing improvising since March with Emma as my wonderful teacher. <laughs> and yeah, that's my introduction. <laughs> <laughs> so you're originally from, from Scotland, but you now live in near Manchester? Yeah, South Manchester, Macclesfield, yeah. Awesome. Well, I'm delighted to have a little scene with you. I'm going to uh, just press the random word generator. We'll go for 10 minutes and we'll have a little chat after. Is that OK? Yeah. Good. Yay. OK, so gen generate random words. Um, slogan is the first word that I saw here. Ooh. So, um, oh, can't, don't know if you can see that. Yeah, slogan, yeah. Slogan. <laughs> so, which rhymes with Wogan. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just going to put the timer on. And um, yeah, like we could um, switch our cameras off and then on again and then we'd start. Okay. So, all right. Yeah. Cool. Um, slogan is our word. I mean, that slogan that you came up with for, for that range of biscuits, unbelievable. Crunch your way to heaven. I mean, God, Bob, that was amazing. Like, I can't believe we pitched so well. Crunch your way to heaven. I don't know where it came from. It was just, it was inspired. It came from heaven. You know, <laughs> it's one of these... It's just like, wow. <laughs> Divine intervention. Yes. Biscuit. Divine intervention. Yeah. The muse. <laughs> the muse just spoke to you and you were mm. inspired. I was. I was. But I mean, I couldn't have done it without you. Ah. You, know. you know, I'm just, well, thank you. But it's a team effort. It's a team effort. I mean, advertising is a hot, it's a cutthroat world, cutthroat. And we're making it, we're making it work for us. We are. I think, I like to think we're not cutthroat. We're a cut above. We're nice. We're just, you know. That, that is why we're in advertising. That is why you're in advertising. And I'm just hanging onto your coattails. We're not oh, come cut, on. cutthroat. We're a cut above. <laughs> and maybe we should just like have that as our new business logo. We're a cut, a cut above. Not cutthroat, yeah. cut above. Yeah. Yeah, we should, we should. I mean, it can only go from strength to strength. But I mean, I think you're being modest. Come on, you've come up with many a good slogan in your time. Oh, yeah. well, yeah. <laughs> Toenails for tea time was my favourite. Toenails for tea time was my favourite. I mean, it was ridiculous, but they, but the, the chiropodists liked it, you know? Chiropodists yeah. Association thought that was great. They were, they were trying to get people into, into um, enjoying chiropody. Oh, yeah, it's like a tea, they have a cup of tea and a scone and they get their feet done. You know, it was a great idea. It was yeah, revolutionary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, so, so, Bob, I mean, what, what's, I, I was thinking about, um, I was thinking about, we, maybe we need to employ an, a, another person. Like, because it's mm -hmm. just two of us, like, we're, we're, you know, business partners or whatever, but, mm. Like I'm, I'm, I am struggling with the with the workload. To be fair, so I, I didn't know how you would feel about, you know, bringing in bringing in a sort of an admin assistant or, I, I don't know. Yeah, an assistant. That's a good idea. Yeah, be good to have more people in the office. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Have, do you have anyone in mind, or will we put an ad? Well, I was I was thinking about I was thinking about Dave, um, my husband, Dave. 
Um, yes. I don't know how you'd feel about that because I mean, I know obviously me and you had a thing, but long, long time ago, obviously. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> you know, all in the past now. Uh, but I, I just didn't know if, I mean, Dave is really great. Well, you know him, he's, he's really great. He'll, he'll do any job that we, we gave him to do. Um, you know, he's, he's pretty good on the spreadsheets and all of that. Um, he is good. Wouldn't it be a bit sort of below him though? Like we're saying it's an administrative assistant. Yeah, but since he had that heart scare, he's, he's you know, he's, he's looking to get back into the workforce, but just in a kind of, not such a, um, not not such an adrenaline way. I think I think just coming mm. in as like, I mean, admin assistant is, doesn't sound great, but maybe bringing, it, bringing him in maybe as like a, as a, as a third partner even, I don't know. I mean, he could invest some of his accident money in into the business and we could grow it I, I'm, I'm just like cautious because it's like obviously it's like we are we're married obviously me and Dave. <laughs> I didn't know if that would like spin you out and or I don't know I mean it would might change things but I mean he's got that finance background so maybe he would yeah. he could make us more like you know commercial yeah hmm I just wasn't sure <laughs> where you were I, I, I know it's a bit sensitive, but I was just, <laughs> because when we got pissed at Christmas last year, I mean, we haven't really spoken about it since, but when you said, like, you still had feelings for me and stuff, um, you know, and I'm, and it's fine. I'm, you know, it's all, we're, we, we're fine. We worked, we worked together really well, but I just, I just wondered like where you were at with that. Cause um, I mean, would it be difficult? It might be strange. I mean, well, let's put it this way. I mean, have you worked with Dave before? Have you worked oh, with him? Well, yeah, not, I mean, I suppose yes and no. I mean, we're married, so we kind of, we know each other. Hmm, <laughs> you do. I don't think, I don't think I'm happy taking him on as a partner right away. I mean, I think we should just see how it goes, don't you think? Yeah, just, yeah. You know. As long as you're okay about it, it's just like, because there's just, like I say, we haven't really spoken about, I mean, when you said that you still had feelings for me, I was like, I didn't know whether that was like just the alcohol talking or whether this was quite kind of a deeper thing. And maybe we should have spoken about it <laughs> a while ago, but. <laughs> Given, I'll be honest. Yeah. I, I thought, I didn't even think you, you remembered that. <laughs> This yeah is a bit awkward um yeah i mean let's just forget that that's that was christmas wasn't it that was just christmas spirit and all that you know but i must admit i do like us two working together i don't know if it's it might ruin it i mean it might ruin it might ruin some of the magic do you think yeah, it, could, it might do i mean I understand what you're saying. Yeah, it was just, I I mean, the workload is a lot, you know, so, and obviously, you know, me and Dave, were probably going to be looking to have a family soon. So mm. with the workload and everything, I, I just thought it might be um, an idea, but it doesn't have to be Dave. I mean, it could be somebody else. Like, mm. maybe that's just a bit awkward. Um, I mean, I know you say it was just Christmas talk, but you did also get me those roses on Valentine's Day, uh, which is fine. It's so sweet, very, very lovely. Um, but, you know, maybe a bit <laughs> crossing the line a little bit. I don't know. I, I just well, got the sense that you weren't over me. Yeah. Do you still have any feelings for me? No. It was a long time ago that we were together. It was just like a little fling. Mm. Sorry. No, no, I mean, I'm not, uh, you know, like I say, you know, it's no big deal, is it? It's no big deal. It, isn't it though? I don't think so. I mean, life moves on, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, it, it does. I mean, you also got me that gorgeous necklace on my birthday a couple of months ago. Oh, and that nothing. <laughs> I mean, come, that was nothing. You, you know, you said you liked it, so I just went back. That was just a, you know, it's a friendship thing, isn't it? The friendship thing, yeah. Yeah. I think, I mean, it's very sweet. It's very, very sweet, but um. Yeah, I mean, maybe we should, I mean, maybe that we should just draw some boundaries a little bit more, you know, <laughs> I uh, mean, we work together and we, that's it, you know, we're, we're and I'm, uh, you know, obviously, like I said that to you at the time at Christmas, like I was like, oh, well, you're in love with me, but I'm happily married, you know. Um, you know, I definitely I, think you, you definitely encouraged me that night, but I mean, like I say, these are these are just presents. You know, I would get them for you know anyone. It's uh, I think you're reading too much into it. <laughs> right. You know I mean? yeah. Right. It's just it was just because when you suggested that you know there was the, the, there's the the advertising uh, associations conference. Obviously, the the AGM's coming up, and and you suggested that we go to go and together. And I, I just thought it was a business thing, but then you said that you'd, you'd booked the honeymoon suite for us because you said that was the only thing that they had available but um now I'm just wondering mate ah uh, I'm just wondering doesn't sound like you're over me <sighs> don't be silly you know it was a trip to Milan I thought stay in a nice hotel you know and um that suite was available so you know, it's got, there's a couch. I was planning to sleep on the couch. Right. Don't, you, don't you understand that? I, oh, yeah, I mean, of course, yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure, sure you, it's just, I think it's just a boundaries issue. I, I you know, I'm, I'm just wondering whether we should, yeah, I mean, just kind of like pedal back a little bit because we are, we do work really well together. I mean, creative, our creative brains, we, we, we inspire each other with our amazing mm. slogans. But I just felt like that this was the elephant in the room um, that we hadn't really spoke about. And and given that I was thinking of, we need a third person to help with the workload, well, to help me with the workload, I thought perhaps we should talk about this. <laughs> well, I mean, what boundaries are what boundaries are you talking about exactly? Just you know, I mean, it's probably, it's probably better if you don't give me any more gifts and stuff. Did, uh, did Dave say something about that? I mean, uh, did he say something about the, the necklace? No, no, um, I mean, don't take this the wrong way, but I, I, I just, I just gave the necklace to my sister who, um, cause I, 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 I didn't want to, I didn't want to, I didn't want to upset you by giving it back to you. Cause I could see that it was, you know, Bulgari, which is so expensive. And um, I, I, I didn't want to, you know, so I, I just get, but I didn't want to wear it either. Yeah, I noticed you hadn't been wearing it. But I mean, yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think you've blown this out of proportion. Uh, <laughs> quite a lot really but <laughs> no, to be honest Bob I mean you're the one that's gifting me with a lot which is so sweet and it is so lovely but I think it's probably time now just to go okay I'm I'm, I'm sorry I don't feel that way still uh anymore about you um and let's just be business partners you know like okay no more presents yeah if that's okay it's like that's, that's all right um i'll take back your christmas present that i've already bought for you oh wow um it's fine, it's fine. What, what was it no 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 taking it back okay yeah, probably for the best <laughs> yeah it's probably for the best yeah and like I say, like, this is amazing. Like oh, our business is going so well, so well. And we do 
creatively inspire each other. I just, the thing is, ah, it's frustrating because I don't meet that many people, you know, where you click, where it's so easy. Yeah. It's just a shame to have to, um, and you don't really, well, I don't know. Are you, do you have a happy marriage? Of course. Would you consider it? Not very happy though, not like really happy. No, we are very happy. <laughs> we're, we're planning on having a family soon, so. Really? I think mm. it's just how you moved on is all, Bob. Like, just like, you know, not from the business, because I think we work well together brilliantly. Our business is doing so well. But just have let's have some boundaries and... Look, I got a really nice friend, Jill. She's 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 perfect for you. I mean, maybe we could maybe we could all just go like on a double date. Me, me and Dave, and you and Jill, and you know. Mm, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. That's a good idea. That is a good oh. idea. But I mean, is there any other boundaries you're talking about, like just the presence or? Yeah, the presence. Just yeah, the presence. Just yeah, and and, and maybe you know, maybe like just don't contact me like text and stuff like uh, after working hours I mean we can talk about work stuff in work and then and then we close mm. the door on work and then we 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 go our into our separate personal lives you know that's just separate but we are friends yeah we're friends of course yeah but I mean we've been friends we've been friends since before you were married as you well, know yeah yeah I know like you're just see this is what happens isn't it this happens a lot if you get your female friends get a partner yeah then they, suddenly they don't want to be friends anymore and I think that's a real shame I I think it is a shame but uh but when there's like sort of elephant in the room feeling still involved I think it's probably best to draw the line well and I, I think you deserve love I deserve I, you know you of all people you know you're such a lovely guy you really are. You really, really deserve somebody that is um, a, a perfect match for you. And maybe Jill could be this this person. I want you Jill. to. Be, I want you to be happy. Yeah, I mean, what's she like anyway? She's nice. I just want you to be happy. That's all. Mm. Um, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Mm. So mm. I'll I'll put the kettle on, shall I? Should we have a biscuit? Yeah, why not? Let's tea. chew our way to heaven. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Scene. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you brought it back to the biscuit thing because I was like racking my brain going, what was that slogan at the top? And you remembered it and it was just so good. I was trying to remember, was your husband's name Dave? And I thought, Dave. I'll just, I'll go with Dave. Was it Dave? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, yeah. But I, oh, I, I really wanted to go. Well, you're being a bit big-headed <laughs> <laughs> in this scene. But I thought, I don't know. No, <laughs> yeah. Know. These conversations happen all the time between people, so it's kind of like mm. that's. Just, I've had that. I mean, just, I have had that loads of times with female friends where they they get with someone or they get married, and then it does fade out, and it's a shame. But it's, it, it's probably it's probably the way it naturally goes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's understandable, but it is a shame. Yeah, I, I like mm. to be friends with people from all aspects of my life, and it's Me hard because things change. I guess that's what you said in the in the yeah. you said that in the scene as well. Things move on. Mm. And, yeah, they do. Yeah. but I think <laughs> once I care about someone, I always care about them in one level or another. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So. like exes and things. You know, you think well, I do care about them, but yeah, yeah. even though it's yeah, not caring, thinking mm. one all right i'm hoping they're all right you know yeah, yeah. human that's just being nice <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> i really enjoyed what well, some great discoveries like started off as business and then got into like the history and the elephant in the room all of that stuff that was really cool <laughs> yeah i enjoyed it i enjoyed it i was trying to, i was trying to goad you a little bit by saying that i wanted to bring my husband into the um into the business you know, so I, I was like trying to go, I was trying to like provoke that a little bit, which is kind of, kind of fun. <laughs> well, yeah, because I was thinking, well, I don't really want my husband in the business. Yeah. And I think you did say that, right? I think you said that. Yeah. yeah. But I think, I think your character, 
say. I wanted you to say, no, I don't want that. <laughs> I think your character was a bit of a flirt, though. I <laughs> laid him on a bit, maybe. <laughs> no, <sorry. laughs> in, like, in, like in, you know, endowing her with all these over-the-top gifts. I thought that was really funny. Really funny. Really? Oh, re yeah. 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 I, yeah, 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 because I couldn't think about what would be the gift, and I just thought, oh, say, no, no, not to, you're not going to know what it was. <laughs> oh, I was like, I really wanted you to go big. It's like go big. Or <laughs> that 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 was the game that we had been established. It was like Christmas, then it was Valentine's, then it was birthday, and it was great that you came up with the um, the Christmas thing. And I was thinking, ah, oh, go on, just say whatever. Oh, I should have said round the world cruise. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> like the first class plane tickets, you know, to to wherever. I was like, that's what I wanted you to say. That's exactly. Oh, I'll <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It worked just as well. Anyway, you go. No, no, <laughs> no, no. I shan't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> all, all good choices. Really fun. Oh. Um, what was going to say? Yeah. So you started coming to improv um, online with Liverpool Comedy Improv this year. So what? Yeah. Uh, what what led you to take the classes? Bridget. <laughs> yeah. she, when she wants you to do something, she will not let go. Like, I think she'd asked me a few times before I eventually said yes, I'm pretty sure. Because I didn't, I wasn't into the whole Zoom thing at first. Um, but in lockdown, and eventually, you know, the lockdown, I'd watched all my DVDs and I was like, I need something. And then, yeah, so now I'm just on it all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so improv happened to you and uh, mm. it became this big thing for you this year. Oh yeah, I absolutely love it. I absolutely adore it. And um, I was thinking about it, like the number of belly laughs yeah. I normally have in a year, you have some, you know, but since I've been doing improv, like it's all the time. You know, like the other day I was, I'm doing this musical improv and um, I just, burst out laughing you know it was just so funny the way the scene turned and yeah. it, um, it was crazy because we had like we had like it started off there was a bit of a love song and we were on we were all on a cruise ship and then there was a guy talking about his job and the children and then it was my verse and it was it was the bridge so it's meant to be the opposite so I was like I'm gonna sink this ship they're all gonna die and then for the last verse it goes he, he takes the music back to the love song and it was just, the contrast was just yeah. so funny, do you know? Great juxtaposition. Oh my God, mm. that sounds so fun. So yeah. fun. And you've done, been, you, haven't you also done extreme improv? Um, I have actually. I've got a bit of shameless advertising. Can I, can I do that? Yeah. <laughs> you like a t-shirt. It's, we've got the team competition coming up. What is that? And, um, this is Biscuit Patrol, that's my team. So, <laughs> well, I mean, that's the team, it's not my team, it's the team I'm in, but yeah. We just came up with a Biscuit slogan as well in our in our scene just then. <laughs> no, no, I know that's funny, isn't it? So when, so what's your, your team Biscuit inspiration? A Biscuit Patrol. Biscuit Patrol, what a great name. So what's happening with you guys? Well, I mean, basically all the team names, David Postansky, he came up with all the names, but so we've just been put in teams at random and then we're going to be doing similar games to normal, but slightly adapted for teams. You know, we don't know what exactly. And so, when is this going to be performed? Uh, 4th, 4th of November, next Wednesday. Oh, okay. And, yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so it's going to go live on Facebook? Uh, yeah, it'll be on Facebook or YouTube. And is, and it a, is it a competition? Like, like it, Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a friendly competition, really. But yeah, it'd be nice if we got through. But, you know, it's just normal improv. Yeah. But then people vote on it. So whoever gets voted through, you know. Sounds like you're doing so much cool stuff, like the classes, musical improv. Yeah, competitions. <laughs> yeah, because we did our show, didn't we, with Liverpool yes. Comedy Improv? And I, I was so nervous before that. I was really... And then it went well, I'd say. I thought everyone was brilliant. Yeah. And then I was like, I want to do another show. You know, I hope we do two during the next term and all this. But <laughs> well, we'll I'm like... We definitely have a Christmas show, that's for sure. Yeah. 
I thought the same because I was terrified for this. And then I thought, well, if this goes well, I'll suddenly I want to do 10 minutes with everyone. <laughs> Why not? I mean, it's all great learning, isn't it? We, we're all, we, all of us are learning. Um, I learn, I'm still learning all the time about really? it. So it's kind of um, the more the more experience you get in terms of putting in the reps, you know, whether that's workshops, classes, shows, perform, perform, perform. You know, the more reps you, you get under your belt, they're just that just the, the more learning you get from it. And yeah, I just think you can never stop learning. You can never do too much unless you unless it completely overloads your system and then it's time to have a break. And that's fine as well. <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, I mean what would be what would be some advice that you would give your so where you are now to when you first started um improv like what 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 what's some of the best advice you could give yourself don't blame me oh man i don't know i'm rubbish at these kind of questions um i suppose just try not to get in your head too much mm. just just say the next right thing i don't know yeah i don't know yeah do you feel like that that's helped that that's changed this year for you quite a bit so like at the beginning of the year you might have been a bit more like in your head trying to think um too much about where the scene was going and now do you feel a little bit more fluid about but more about that yeah sometimes yeah 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 because I could get locked up mm -hmm. when I'm in my head like the one we've just done I pretty much was just going with it as it happened yeah right <laughs> Think. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And, uh, and what else I mean is there any other sort of big fears that you think like people just beginning is there any big fears that you think they might have that you would be able to help them with just now blame me uh, so what are people's fears going to be the, the fear of looking stupid maybe yeah yeah Fear of yeah. failure or mm. fear of brain freeze, you know, all of that stuff. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm not very good at being wise. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, basically just have fun. If you just look at it, it's fun. But I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That sounds I great. That's great advice. So if you, if you and you said to you and eight months ago now look you and just don't get in your head too much and have fun that's basically what you that's basically good advice yeah all right okay good <laughs> so, isn't it like if you now if you had said that to yourself mm. six eight months ago have fun and don't get into your head it's like that's just so sound advice for anyone you know yeah, i'd love to see like some of my early scenes now just to see what i was like oh, that would I'd... be good yeah, do we, we do. do. I Can don't we... know. We have no. to travel back in time. <laughs> well, you'd be able yeah. to see the earlier extreme improv thing that you did. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah, that's Where true. The one that you do next week, because they'll be oh. on the um, YouTube, won't they? That's true. Yeah, the very first one we did. I did that with Bridget as well, yeah. and we were we were nervous, yeah. and um, it came down to. Because if I'd done it on my own, I might have gone through. But the fact we ended up doing it together, and it came down to a tie break between us, which Bridget won. <laughs> but doesn't matter. But I was really happy for her. She's brilliant, and she's encouraged me into so many different things. It's, it's so good, isn't it? Just like once mm. you open the door, just so many directions. There's so many du directions you can go down. I think with improv, it's like, yeah, I'm really glad you're on this little journey. It's it sounds like it's really helped you this year. Oh, it has. I'm telling you, it really has. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I was struggling a bit with the lockdown because I live on my own. Mm. Um, it was it was a bit, you know, at times it got a bit dark or whatever. But I mean, to be honest, um, I lost my mum in 2018, oh. which that was really the killer for me. Like, so however hard 2020 is for for. For me, it's actually a best, it's my best year I've had since 2017. So, <laughs> but the improv has helped enormously. And I reckon if I had found that two years ago, that could have been really good. Oh, yeah. oh sorry to hear but, that. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
I mean, I, I hear this a lot, you know, like just engaging with improv online this year has just helped so many people get through the year, you know? <laughs> because the lockdown now, it's not such a chore, really, because we're online all the time. I mean, it's obviously it's not great, but I just love all the online stuff. I can't wait for our new class to start. Yeah, yeah, me too. Um, yeah, awesome. Well, um, I shall stop the recording now, and um, so you could say goodbye to the world and thank Bye. you for having such a cool scene with me. That was oh, a thank and you.